Jim is the Senior Director for Systems Integration with the Energy and Security Institute. Jim, thanks for being with us today. It's a pleasure. Jim, what's happening in the Well, I think some of the biggest challenges are um, customers leveraging their data, right? Um, leveraging their data in a secure way. Uh, for years now, we've talked about how digitization can help process plants and in the industry in general, but I don't think we've gotten all the way there, right? There's been investment. Um, we've invested in infrastructure, but we haven't quite achieved the closed loop value. Um, so there's some work to do there. So I think that's a challenge. And I also think that uh, the workforce is, is a huge challenge. It's an impediment for progress. Um, you know, coming back from, we all recognize that we were going to have a challenge with workforce with folks leaving the, the industry that have years and years experience, bringing in new folks that ramp up. But I don't think we recognized how COVID would impact that. And the work, the way we work is different now. And I think that, I don't think we, realized how protracted it would be. Um, the intensity is about where we thought, but I think the how long it's taking to recover from that has been a challenge. So I think those are two of the big themes. And I, I was pleased to see those covered at the at the conference this week. A lot of a lot of focus there. Sure. So Wood, Wood kind of reinvented itself about, we're about two years into that journey now. Um, we've, we focus on our specializations. So we have a group focused on projects, a group focused on operations, and a group focused on consulting. And um, systems integration, which is my business, is in the consulting part of, of Wood. Um, we think of those areas as not divisions, but they're, they're specializations that really come together uh, and create magic when it's one wood, the, what we call the one wood solution. And in consulting, we kind of have some specialization as well. We do our traditional business like a Mac and, and can be an automation provider and, and do all that for sure. Um, but when we start to specialize is where, where we can create some additional value for our customers. So we have like five areas of specialization. Um, one of them is asset health, you know, helping customers uh, be more predictive, proactive on keeping their assets running in the plant, using expertise, domain knowledge, um, data, digitization to make that happen. So we can provide solutions there. Um, another area is um, decarb. So we're working across, we have like digitization and decarb are kind of a cross-cutting initiatives at Wood. They touch all the industries we serve. And so for decarb, we're able to help customers achieve, you know, um, lower, carbon emissions. Um, you heard the keynote speaker talk about initiatives that Exxon has on carbon capture and hydrogen. Um, we're very much involved in that. We can bring our expertise to, to do that. The next one is digital twins, helping customers get from design to value much faster, leveraging digital twins, and then actually leveraging the digital twin after the plant is up and running to provide um, you know, training simulators, et cetera. Um, we, we were very much involved in that. And then we're also involved in optimization. So these are areas of specialization that we focus on in consulting. And optimization is a key. And I like to think of optimization as three pieces. I think of it as process optimization, systems optimization, and data optimization. And when those three things come together, we can achieve a lot more than focusing on just one of them. And then my business, which is really designed to weave all that together is um, systems integration. So with systems integration, we're not as much a traditional Mac as we were. We're getting involved with customers much earlier. And as we reflect back a little bit on the comment I made earlier about, um, about the workforce issues, um, our customers are pulling us in much earlier to help them actually justify projects and, and, and build business cases for their ideas and their initiatives. Um, and then we're able to take that initiative, build that business case, design, implement, startup, commission, et cetera, all the way through. So they get a one-stop shop that can weave all of those solutions and the value of our specialization as one would um, all together, but it really comes together with systems integration.
That's a good question. So, um, you know, we've talked about um, control system obsolescence for a long time. ARC did a study, I think, that a few years ago there was some, you know, $65 billion worth of assets out there that need to be modernized. There's, some of that has moved forward for sure, but then some of the things that weren't included in there are now also backfilling the, the so there's a huge problem. Um, and I think the approach to that problem traditionally has been replace the old system with the new system. And that was very difficult to justify the value and the investment that the end user has to make to move that. So the can was kicked down the road a bit. But now as we open up systems and we learn better ways to use our data and we look at the value of a newer control system over a traditional control system, look at the value of open process automation and some of the possibilities there, um, we have a much stronger justification to actually move those, those modernizations forward, right? Um, so we're helping customers build those justifications and we're helping them being a system independent, some call it agnostic. Um, we, we, as Wood, as an integrator, we're not so much tied to the traditional plant uh, or uh, system that's in the plant as they have it. We don't have to go from A to brand A to brand, brand A later. We go to brand A to brand E. We, it doesn't matter. We can pick what's best for the customer, what's best for their goals is how open that system is, how they can leverage the data. We can transform that business case from old to new. So moving that forward is, is a huge um, step in the right direction for obsolescence. We can avoid going to eBay to find parts for, for old systems. And the other thing we can do is with, with cloud technologies and sensor technology, we can actually put things into the plant that go directly from the asset to the cloud for an analysis and digitization. Um, and we can get true value right away from the sensors without having to go through the stack. We're seeing that. Um, but then again, harnessing that data that's in the plant already, that we're not fully using in closing loop, that's, um, that's a, huge, a huge value. Yeah, cybersecurity comes up. I mean, the whole first day of the conference was cybersecurity, right? Um, and, and that was exciting to see because we're engaging our customers with cybersecurity initiatives. We're helping our customers. You know, we talked about the workforce. One of the things our customers are really challenged with is dealing with running the plant every day. They're, they're, they're strapped for resources. They're fighting fires. They're keeping the plant running. They're meeting their goals, their production goals. But at the same time, they can't focus on important things, bigger initiatives, things that will get them later in trouble. They need to separate and balance that urgent versus important. And cybersecurity kind of falls into that. Um, so we have folks that are able to work from basically level zero up to level 3.5, if you consider the Purdue model, to help them harden their systems, have layers of protection, do audits, do things like that in a very proactive way. And we're also doing something that's really interesting um, and we call it CHAS Ops. So it's cybersecurity has ops. So if a node in a plant is compromised, the actions are already defined as to what to take to kind of isolate that node, deal with that threat or that issue, but keep the plant running, right? And isolate it in such a way that we don't take everything out should there be a unforeseen event. So we're very engaged with customers on their cybersecurity initiatives. Um, and again, we, we, we start at the consulting aspect of it, but we have the people and the skills and domain expertise to kind of bring it all the way to fruition. So that one-stop shop and that domain knowledge, bringing it all together for customers has been um, really great for us to, to, to create value for them. Thank you. Appreciate it. We've been speaking with Jim Mitchell, the senior director for security.